Hi everyone, it's Evelyn. This time it's a tutorial. Okay, I've been wanting to show these guys this for the longest. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing it now because I was going to do it off cam cam camera because um, my sister wanted a, a Finch's bracelet and she liked the one that I made a while back. And well, just doing it just brings sadness. It's just because. I had lost one of a good friend and the last time that we got together is making what I'm doing today. So, you know, it is a little sad, but, you know, this is a, a memory of her, this video. Anyway, um, so what I did was, you know, the little ice school pots, I don't know, they go 99 cents, you find the straight ones, I think they did like these. They have them all um, sizes and thin ones. Well, these ones are a little more shaped. They have some curves on here. And I got this at Michael's. And I think I paid $1.50 for it. Honestly, I can't. it was very cheap because it was, this, it was on sale. But I have a whole pack of this. So what um, So what I did was to get it this shape, like a bracelet, you got to um, um, have it inside hot boiling water. Like if you're cooking it. <laughs> At least about, I say about, keep it in the hot water maybe for a minute or two. Until, like when you take it out, but be careful because it can get hot. Use some mitten and just test it out if it's flexible to, you know, to turn it. And what I use, not really this, it depends on the cup of the size because, you know, everybody's ribs are different. So you got to really estimate, you know, like the sizes. So... Um, depend on the cup. I'm just using this as an example. Once I take it out from the hot boiling water, where I think it's more um, movable, you know, flexible to 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 shape it, I I, I stop you know turning it and put it inside the hole of your cup, and it'll stay there. I can't show you now because I don't have, it hasn't been heated up in boiling water, but um, enough to um, just keep it inside. Gotta keep it inside here and. Keep it overnight. If you don't want it, wait that long. Once you keep it there, wait at least for an hour and it's still damp, put it in the microwave. It gets, it'll gets, it get um, dry up quickly and it'll stay that shape faster. So that's another option. Okay, once I do that, before I paint it in black, because I got one already painted in black, because I didn't want to, you guys to watch me paint this, what I did first is I took a hot glue gun and I made designs. And I don't know if you can see capture in the camera but I make little heart shapes with the candle I mean with the glue stick just to give it some texture um, you can make your own design like this one here I'm going to be working on it's almost drying up I made like a zigzag I don't know if you can see it oh you could and then I just put some polka dots in there so waiting this to dry up and all and then um, what you do next is I use my cracker dowel um, punch I use the 160 that's the smallest size and I'm going to punch a hole because that's where you're going to put your string at so you can tie it up because it's going to fall like this now this is this is a little big on me but if you have the string you can tighten up with the string in the bottom it, it's going to look really nice I wish I had a sample one but when we made this we took I got pictures of it and I'll and I'll put that down to show you what we made that day but um not, I didn't make one for myself. I, I was just showing, you know, they, they, sometimes my friends, they come over and we get little crafty. So I kind of share the, some of some my ideas and they share theirs. So what I'm going to be using is these little Frenches. I have so many of these. And I'm going to use a mold. Uh, I made a face out of glue sticks. That's my favorite technique of all. I don't like using clay. Don't get me wrong. Clay is a nice thing. But it could crack at least this here is very flexible so um you could bend it and you don't have to ever worry that it's going to crack that's how i feel it i like to make my mold using glue stick i had some here already um that i did earlier maybe an hour ago and they pretty hard look it's just easy to come off it doesn't get stuck and i'll show you what that looks like and how i i can show you right now before I start, what I always do, I always use black. Don't ask me why. I always use black. I use my fingers so. so can you, I don't know if you can see the shape mold. 
all right and then when that dries up i'll show you then i use my metallic rough and buff and then i give it some color so right now what i'm going to do is once i already finish painting and all i do is use my get so because they quick dry and once i put my um shape of glue it's dried up then i stop painting after i did my holes and then i just stop painting all over black i using the I use the black gesso. I'm sorry, got my hands on it. This here, because it dries quickly, so I don't have to wait that long. Which I have already one that's about. It's almost dried up. Which I'm gonna hit it with the glue gun. I'm sorry, with the heat gun, so you can put this in the water. And it's gonna be a little noisy. I'm sorry. And this one, I realized I didn't punch a hole, which I'll do right now. But it's almost drying up. And you don't have to worry because I'm using it since I, I use the glue stick and you figure if I use the heating gun it's going to melt now. If you stay there long enough, of course it's going to melt, but I just move it around where I can dry, you know, it's drying up. Okay, once that drying up, I didn't punch a hole. I'll punch a hole later. You already saw me did on the other one. So what I'm going to do is, since I have nails, so I can't dig in here. I have to get me another one. I had it like three years already. I love this stuff. I definitely need more because it's like almost gone. And I didn't cut my nails so I can't go in there. So I'm going to use one of these little double. So what I'm going to use first is the copper. The, I'm sorry, the, 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 the gold. And what I'm going to do, which I would like to, I like using my fingers, which I'm going to still do. And I'm just going to burnish it. Just, just give it a touch up. I'll show you what that looks like. See? Once I, once I finish, I'll show you what it looks like. I used gold. Then I'm going to use a little bit of copper. Give it a touch of that. I do the edge. Then I'm going to go with some silver. So there's like four colors I like to use when I'm doing this. Once I finish, I'll show you what I'll get. Um, I'm not sure. It's like a um, this color right here. It's like a reddish color. I'm not sure if it has the name back, but I like using that one too. It just gives it a nice, um, it pops the color more. I don't know. It gives it more like a rusty look, and that's what I'm aiming for. Because it looks very rusty, and that's exactly what I want. Now, sometimes what I'll do, I'll take um, Crystal Effect Diamond Glaze, and I'll show decoupage. You can use just if you want this shiny, and it seals the color. That's what I'm going to do in the end. And once you get the color that you like, which I'm going to go more with the. Let's see this color. Sometimes I just play with other colors. Let me try this blue one. Mm, the blue one looks nice too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. So now it looks like this. How pretty, right? Okay. So now I'm going to grab my face. And I'm not going to use the big one because I'm going to use this friction one. And I want it, you know what, before I did that, I also wanted to paint it a little bit in black. And I forgot to do that. I'm going to wipe my brush. I think that's what I did to the last one. I should have went back to my videos, but I didn't. But I'm going to give it a shot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to touch this up with a little black. So where I, even though it's a little, it's a brass look already. But I want to put some gold in there. And I probably could have still do it even with the black. It's going to need a take in, so I'm wasting my time on this. I forgot how I did the last. I think I left it like this or I spray painted. I think I spray painted in silver. That's what I did. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see the end of it. I'll put the video, uh, picture of the, what I did of, you know, the last time. Because I don't have a sample of it. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably touch this here and put some gold on there. 
I'm going to take my face. I, I don't know if I'm going to use the big one or this one, the penguin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some silver. So now you can see how it pops. The little tiny face. And I use mold. I use glue stick as my mold. And I made this earlier. And look, it, it's easy. Look how easy it pops out. Look at this. I love all my, I'm going to tell you, all this here, I'm going to show you guys. This is all made of glue sticks. I have a, a shoes, and it's a very vintage shoes. And you be, I'll, I'll crack you up and tell you how I get these images. You think I'm crazy. I don't know if I ever told a story like that, but you got to watch out with me. I see something, you got necklace, I'll, I'm walking around with this mole thing everywhere. This is another face. I had something like a clock, a leaf. I make all kinds, but they all glue sticks. And I love it because it's flexible and you don't have to worry about it cracking or anything. That's my opinion. I just like, I like glue sticks. I like, it just, it, just, it doesn't change. It looks the same way. Nothing different. It just looks, to me, it looks the same. So I'm going to put a little bit of gold in here and look how cute that face is. I don't know if I can go. Let me see. Oh, look how pretty. I got this one or mainly this one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, I didn't punch the hole right now because I didn't punch all. It's very easy, simple. You could do this with your kids, your grandkids. Now, this is two holes. I use the 116 because it's the smallest one from this crocodile. Very easy. Don't worry about it. It's going to crack. It might. Sometimes it does crack, but don't worry about it. It doesn't need a show. Okay. So, it's going to look like this. Look how pretty. So um, what I'm going to do is before I shine it up, I'm going to put this on. I wish I had, you know, what's silver? Let me see if I had a silver one. I remember using a silver because it popped up more. And I know I had, let me just look over here. I'll be right back, guys. I'm sorry. I know I had, yes, I did. I knew I had a silver one around here. Hmm. See how I can spray paint these? Look how pretty. And get the uh, hot spots so you can see. See the French is held in silver? Well, these are the ones that I spray paint, not this one. This one's in black. So I'm probably going to use this one here because I like the way that one looks. And then I put my face in there. My face. You got that? My face. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some gold on it so it can clash in with my bracelet. So I'm going to put some gold because it's a lighter color. I'm going to use a little bit of red so you can get a little rusty. Put a little bit of blue. Is that pretty? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this and I use my E6000. To the back. And of course, you know we got to use our glue stick too, so it can grab quickly instead of sitting here waiting. Okay, I hate these little strings. Ugh. And try to center this in the middle. Okay, I could have used the the design if I wanted to either use um, deco a uh, match pot or diamond glaze. But then I won't be able to, um, I always, I usually do that before I put my embellishment in the middle. But because of um, video purpose, I, I have to sit wait until it dries up. So that's why I'm doing it this way. But you can, before you add your embellishment, you can um, use whatever. I use diamond glaze or crystal effect that gives it a glassy kind of, uh, or mock podge. I like the way the diamond glaze looks. It looks more glassy. So, um, I'm just I'm trying to think of what face I want to use. It's just too, too big. I'm going to use the small one. Um, I'm going to use that. Of, um, I'm not going to even put glue because 
the mold is made out of glue. So I'm just going to use the E6000. Even though if you give it a heat, it's not going to do anything. Okay. I hope I got this in there. How pretty. It's that pretty. And then you could, from the holes, you could put a string. But this is such a cute, cute um, gift to anyone. Look how it looks. And what I do is I'm going to, this one's kind of big on me, but I got the perfect person that needs this. So I want to put a string on so it can tie it up so it won't come off. But look how cute. Is it that cute or what? And so simple. Like I said, you can do that with your grandkids. Um, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to grab my, this is from Stampin' Up! The Crystal Effect. I also have, um, let me see if I can get it, my diamond glaze, and I can live well. Just like my fourth bottle, I use this a lot. Diamond glaze refill, dimensional adhesive by Judy Keen. I, I use this a lot, but for, the, ugh, I took the top off. I usually use my fingers. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to, and of course it's not going to come out. So I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to put my fingers because I'm not afraid to get it dirty. And I just touch it up with the, um, just around the, the brace. And you got to see how pretty it gets. You're talking about looking, because it looks a little dull. But it looks so realistic when you put the um, diner effect. For some reason, it just gives it another, another look. Really, really cool. Like you bought it on the spot. I'm not kidding you. That's how cute in person it looks. I don't know how it looks in, in the camera. But you can see the shine. Once that dries up, it looks even prettier. I'll definitely take a picture at the end of the video. Just wanted to share this short, quick tip that you can do as a gift with your grandkids. They'll have a lot of fun with this. Okay? So that's about it. For your newbies, please don't forget, hit that button that says subscribe. Thumbs up. If you have anything, anything, you know, if you want to comment something, please. Is There's a whole box that you can write everything. <laughs> All right, so and that's about it. So thank you for watching and stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. And till then, I'll see you soon.